Hello and welcome to Cranker Dam Jets 211. Uh, today what I like to do is to talk about uh, CBD. Um, I take CBD to help me with sleep. Uh, some people take it for other reasons. Uh, I've had a long problems with sleep for a long time. Um, and the first drug I tried was antihistamines, which worked for a while, but then it stopped working. And I think one of the reasons it stopped working is that I also have allergies and the uh, antihistamines I take for my allergies probably made me kind of immune to the effects of antihistamines as a sleep aid. Um, so yeah, for a long time I was on antihistamines. Um, then when I had the lymphoma more recently, uh, I was at the hospital a lot and I asked for help for the, from the doctors and they gave me all kinds of drugs to try to get me to sleep. They got me quetiapine, which did exactly nothing for me. I tried melatonin, which is the first thing that the doctors say, oh, you should try melatonin. Melatonin doesn't do anything for me. There's one time with CBD that it seems to have had a synergistic effect but I can, I'm not sure about that because it worked for a little bit and then it stopped working. Um, so they gave me quetiapine, which didn't do anything. Uh, I was on another drug towards the end before I switched to CBD and I never remember the name of that drug. But I tried multiple drugs, multiple, you know, things made for sleep. The only thing that worked for me as far as the drugs made for sleep were, was initially the antihistamines, but then it stopped working. And then the Lunesta worked for me for a while um, until it did not work at all. I seem to have developed a resistance to it. Um, but now I'm, I'm wondering whether I dev really developed a resistance to it was, or if it was a different problem that I had. Um, uh, the only thing that worked in the hospital setting were the Lunesta for a while. And they were also giving me anti anxiolytics, which. Wait, not anti anxiolytics. Anxiolytics. Um, because anti anxiolytics would be causing anxiety. Uh, anxiolytics. They gave me anxiolytics in, in the hospital. And that also helped. Um, but I don't think my problem is pr primarily anxiety. You know, I was getting the anxiolytics during my lymphoma treatment. Uh, and maybe at that time there was some anxiety, but now I don't think there is. Um, so I tried a lot of stuff that worked for a while and then stopped working or didn't work from the get go. Um, and I had, I've seen a lot of doctors more on my case, but no sleep specialist. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to see a sleep specialist on Wednesday this week, who's also a neurologist. And, and for me, it was important to have both specialists specialties in the same person uh, because of the lymphoma and possible neurological damage that I suffered from that. Um, so eventually I, I looked around and, you know, I was pissed <laughs> at some point. I was, I was really pissed um, because the medicines were not working. And I looked around and I saw that some people take CBD for sleep. So I started taking CBD uh, between the end of my chemo and the start of the stem cell transplant. And I started taking it and it worked right away. I was able to have good nights of sleep. And I should mention that my problem is not falling asleep. I'm quite capable of just falling asleep. Um... Though sometimes it's harder, some nights it's harder than other nights, but you know, it, there's no particular problem there. My problem is staying asleep. So I wake up in the middle of the night, um, and if I don't take any medicine, I'm going to sleep maybe four hours, and then my night is going to be done. I'm not sleeping after that anymore. I can stay in bed, I can stay in bed two hours, four hours more. I'm not going to sleep. It's, it's, it's the end. Um, and actually, they tell you it's not good to stay in bed that long because it kind of habituates your body of thinking that 
if you're in bed and awake, it's okay. So, you know, I slept four hours and then I would get up. And that was it. My night was over. And sometimes during the day I would nap and it helped a little bit. Um, but yeah, I took medicines and I, I got to the point where uh, nothing was working. And I found CBD online, people talking about it. And it's legal in my state. So I ordered CBD and right away it worked. Um, now the thing with CBD is that you have to find the right dosage. Um, and that was, that's a little bit complicated and it's complicated by something very, very bizarre. First of all, you have to find kind of your baseline dosage for sleep and, and my dosage might not be your dosage. Um, I started, I think I started at maybe 75 milligrams or 60 milligrams or something like that, and it worked, and then it stopped working, and then I increased the dosage to 100, and then it worked, and it stopped working, and then I increased the dosage to 200, and it worked for a long time. Um, but here's the thing, I increased it to 200, and your dosage may be 100, or it may be even less, so it may be more than 200. It also depends, I think, on the size of the person. Uh, so it worked for a long time, and then I, at some point it was not working. And I increased the dosage again to 300, I think, or maybe 250. I don't remember quite what dosage I took at that time. Um, and that helped, but it stopped working at some point. And I was just taking the CBD, and I was waking up early. It's not, it's not when I take CBD, in the, and, and, the, and I call the CBD not working. It's not the same as if I took nothing. I will sleep longer than if I take nothing, but it's not as good as CBD at full force. So I, I had augmented maybe to 300 milligrams, and then I thought, well, and then I probably tried 400, and then the 400 really knocked me out. Uh, I mean, I didn't have a good night of sleep, but after the day after, I, I, I just felt bad, and I felt sluggish, and it was just not good. So at 300 I thought, well, you know, I tried things and then I thought, well, maybe I should reduce it to 200 and see if that works again. And I reduced it and it worked. So at 300, it worked for a while, then it stopped working. Then I reduced it to 200 and my drug starts working again. And then that's very bizarre because I've never had a drug that reducing the dosage helped <laughs> make it more efficacious. And, and more recently, I've had a problem again where I was at 200 and I, I didn't change anything. And then at some point, the 200 stopped working. And again, I tried to go into 300 and it didn't help. And I tried going back to 200 and it didn't help. And last night, what I did is I took 150 milligrams instead of 200. And my night was better than all the previous nights since a month. It's been maybe a month since I've had a really good night of sleep. Um, you know, uh, what happened the days before is that I would wake up around 3 or 3.30. This time I went to 4.40. Um, so that's an improvement. Uh, tonight I might try to reduce it even more to 100 milligrams and see if that helps. And now, you know, I, I'm, I'm looking at that and I'm wondering how, you know, what's going on with the CBD. You know, CBD is, a, is derived from cannabis, so it's it's weed. It's, it's a weed compound. It's not just weed, it's a weed compound. And I probably just scratched the mic. Uh, it's a weed compound without um, uh, THC in it. So you shouldn't get high from CBD if you use it properly. I guess if you take huge amounts, then you may get high. Uh, but, you know, finding the right dosage, you have people on Reddit that come every week and they ask, you know, what dosage should I take? What dosage should I take? And it's hard. Um, and as I say, the, the dosage you're going to start with um, may be different from my dosage. But now I'm also starting to think about, you know, 
how the, how does this drug work? Do you need to continually adjust the dosage? Because I've, it's been twice now that I've reduced my dosage and it improved my nights. Um, so what I encourage people to do, people who start with CBD, is first of all, realize that the solution may not materialize overnight you need to find the right starting dosage for you and then you need to adjust it uh, you may need to adjust it higher or you may need to adjust it lower and it's the lower part that uh, puzzles me it's like it's been twice now that if I adjust my CBD lower I'm doing better than if I adjust it higher uh, so yeah if anybody sees this and says it's the same for me. I had to lower it to get a better night of sleep. I'd like to know about it in the comments because this is uh, very, very puzzling to me. I've been I've been on, on, on medicine since I was 24 because of the heart attack and I had statins and uh, blood pressure medicine. And in my mind, every time, you know, we adjust the medicine higher, then it does more. If we adjust it lower, it does less. And I'm very, very puzzled by the fact that CBD sometimes seems to work better if I reduce the dose. Um, so, yeah, this was the, my, my impromptu reflection on CBD. I have no script today. Um, if you have uh, any enlightening information, put it in the comments. And uh, otherwise, well, I'll see you in another episode.